What's up everybody, Mastic here, and today we're going to be talking about some Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, the game just got re-released yesterday. Uh, so, if you were not aware, they were remaking a very old game, a 20 year old game, known as Star Wars Battlefront 2. And it came out last night. And so far it has been an absolute shithole. So much so that Steam ratings have it at like a 19% positive. So, 81% of people think that the game is just absolute shit, which it is, because just the shit that, that happened, we were just not expecting at all, right? So whenever the game first came out or whatever, there was only three servers up, so there could only be like a max of a couple hundred people playing at a time, and that's if you were lucky to even get enough into the servers. Multiplayer, like, doesn't even work. So you're pretty much forced to only play single player. And the aiming doesn't even work. You can't even fucking aim. Like, what? You can't aim? That's the dumbest thing ever. That's such an easy fix. As of right now, they have gotten more servers up, so the availability to play online is a bit better. But that still doesn't really change the fact that the game itself is just absolute dookie like just absolute dookie you would be way better off paying like the 10 15 bucks for the original battlefront 2 than spending 35 dollars on this remaster collection because the remasters aren't even fucking remasters right Th this that is what i would expect out of a game 20 years ago whenever this first came out right that many bugs and shit with it but not as the, you know, these triple fucking stu uh, A-Studio game companies and everything, going in and just ruining games constantly. Whether it be a new release, or re-release, or a remaster, or whatever, they, 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 they don't do anything. They come out, they're incredibly buggy, the graphics pretty much don't even look like they've been updated half the time on a lot of these remasters. It, they're literally using you as a content farm. They're using you, the consumer, as a fucking content farm. That's what they're doing. They think that you're stupid and that you'll pay money for the same game that is like 20, 30 years old. For what? Because you don't even update the graphics. It doesn't even look like a modern day game. It still looks like the game is 20 years old. But then again, I also don't blame game companies for doing that shit because you have the fucking Skyrim tards that have bought the same fucking game for 10 years in a row. Right? So, I mean, maybe it is a good business decision for them because there are apparently a lot of idiots that'll go out there and just buy these games that have absolutely updated graphics, they play like absolute shit, they're broken. It for what? You're supporting a company that is constantly pumping out broken games, remaster shit, and it's not even a remaster. Like I said, half of these remasters and stuff don't even have updated graphics, any new content, or anything. If you're going to remaster something, you have to add shit to it. You can't just make the same 20-year-old game over and over again. But like I said, people are obviously dumb enough to do it because you have the motherfuckers who have bought Skyrim for 20 years now. Right? Every remaster of that, no updated graphics at all. It still looks like the original fucking Skyrim. And I know, because I've played Skyrim on shit like the PS4, PS5, and it looks the same as it did on the Xbox 360. The same. So it's it's not even like these remasters and these like these redoing of games aren't even redoing of old games. They're just here's the same game that's 20 years old, but since we're now labeling it as a remaster or anything like that, we can now jack up the price to more than double what the original 20 year old game was, because obviously these AAA games and stuff are not going to stay sixty dollars for like. 20, 30 years, obviously, they're gonna go down in price. You know, unless you're Call of Duty, in which case, oh, your games will be $60 forever. Uh, but it's, it, it's just a massive thing. Uh, and then that's just my thoughts on it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And this is Mastic, heading out.